Today's meal comes from the Modern Cookbook Meal Suggestions, and we're doing January's Tuesday night meal. So we're going to take about a pound to a pound and a half of lamb and put it in our pot and just cover it with water. As you can see, I got a great deal on this at Victory Meat Market here in Fredericton. I am going to rinse the meat off before I put it to boil. So I will rinse the meat and then put it to boil with some nice, fresh, clean water. And the idea is that we kind of want to get that blood off there. So as you can see, my meat is just covered with the water. And now we are going to bring this to a simmer on the stove until the meat is soft. We need to make some baked potatoes. It's pretty simple, actually. I have just thoroughly washed and scrubbed my potatoes. And then we're going to put them in the oven at 400 degrees. And that will be probably about 40 minutes, maybe 30 for this one. We'll check, but I would gauge around 40 minutes for an average size potatoes. Now the recipes don't say to do this, but my mom taught me to do it. So I'm sure it's important. Uh, in fact, she said the potatoes would blow up if you don't. So I don't know if there's any truth in that because I've always done this. You want to prick them with a fork <laughs> before you put them in the oven. Also before you microwave. I don't know. Maybe it's not true. But I'm going to do it just to be on the safe side. All right, so I'm going to put these in the oven at 400 degrees for approximately 40 minutes. Pumpkin custard. One cup of canned or fresh cooked pumpkin puree. One egg slightly beaten. We're just going to put it right into our one cup measure that we just used and beat it right there. It is easier if you beat it while it's on the uh, countertop though. There we go, it just has to be slightly beaten. Half a cup of packed brown sugar. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of ginger. We're going to mix this all up. Oops. We're gonna add one tablespoon of hot water. Mix that all up. Now we're gonna add one cup of evaporated milk. We're gonna just stir as we add it. It's gonna take a little butter and butter the inside of my custard cups. I only have two, so it'll make what it'll make. And they don't even match. I think I need, I know, I know what I need to go buy for myself, matching custard cups. Okay, so I've buttered the inside of two custard cups. It's unfortunate that they're different, but that's what I have. And now we're going to pour our custard into them. Okay, so I found this container and I have buttered it. And now I'm just gonna pour the leftover custard in it. These are going in the oven, but they're not just gonna go in the oven. So I'm going to be putting them in a shallow pan of hot water, and then that's gonna go in the oven. Let's get that out and do it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are, I have probably just under an inch in there, possibly an inch of water. I've had it in the oven reheating with the pan, so I'm just gonna put these right in. Essentially, these custards are going to steam. All right, the oven is set to 325, and that's going to cook for 40 minutes. So we need to dice one cup of celery. And I could chop all the way along, but I'm going to do the easy route. First, I'm going to remove this end that I don't want. 
And then I'm going to cut my celery into thirds. I'm going to stack those up together, and then I'm going to do one cut across the three. I'm essentially saving a third of the time, or two thirds of the time, actually. Just watch your fingers when you get to the end. Let's give this one a little fat. Let's give it another cut and a half. And I'm just going to do the same thing, cut the ends off I don't want. Those are going to be saved for soup stock. And so two stalks of celery made approximately a cup, which is what I need. We're going to need half a cup of sliced onion. I have this extra. You know what? I'm just going to put that in there. It's a tiny bit more than half a cup for me, but I like onions, so that's fine. Now we need to peel and dice two tart apples. So I'm using Granny Smith. So our lamb has been simmering. I'm hoping it's soft enough now. We are just going to drain it. Make sure to keep the liquid. So I have my colander sitting on top of a measuring cup, a big one. <laughs> that last little bit of lamb, we want to make sure we have all of that. Okay, we're going to add three tablespoons of butter to our pan. Let that melt. If you break it up, it increases the surface area and your food will cook, or your butter will melt faster. I'm going to increase this to medium high for now. And we are going to add our half a cup of onion, our one cup of celery, and our two apples. And we're just going to saute this until the onions are soft. Okay, that's looking nice and soft. You can see the green and the celery is kind of a little more vibrant and the onions are starting to take on a translucent color. We're going to now add our lamb. Kind of distribute that evenly. And now we're gonna, we are going to add two cups of our lamb broth. All right, we're gonna cover this and let it simmer for 20 minutes. We are going to check and see if our custard is done. Ooh, it's a hot oven. <laughs> oh my goodness, they look good. Can you guys see that? You can. Let me just move the light over. Look at that. Oh, it looks good. It might be a little bit too done. We'll test it. I think it's definitely going to come out at this point. So to test custard, you take your knife and you put it in the middle. And your middle knife should come out with a little custard on it. And then you test around halfway between. That should come out with none. Um, I know it's a little well done because they both came out with none. Let's try this one. Both a little done, but that's okay. We're going to set these aside to cool now. Okay, we're back over at the stove. So I have a quart of water with one teaspoon of salt Add a rapid boil and I'm going to add my carrots to cook and those are probably going to be about five to ten minutes which will be perfect time because we are ready to work on our lamb now. So the directions at this point are a little vague for my liking. We're going to add two teaspoons of curry. The directions say one and a half to two. Um, I've actually chosen two rounded because we really like curry here. Okay, so I'm going to add the curry right in. We're going to give it a stir everywhere. 
Okay, that has been sitting for five minutes and let it simmer. When I reread the recipe, I think I was supposed to just add that to hot water and let that sit and then add the flour and make the slurry. So I am just gonna add a little bit of the liquid into the flour. Just put it in here. <laughs> and see if I can make a slurry that way. Oops. Okay, we clearly need a little more liquid. I'm gonna use a fork, because I wanna break up the lumps. Okay, I'm back with my fork. I'm gonna grab a little bit more liquid from this. Oops, no meat, just liquid. This is just to thicken it so it's not really gonna hurt anything if it's taking me a few minutes to get it prepped. That curry is in there and it's cooking and getting all its wonderful flavors out. All right, I'm gonna add this. It's probably gonna be a little chunky. You might have, you might strain it. I'm not gonna bother for myself. If I was making this for someone other than my husband, I would definitely make sure to make the flour had cold water added to it and add it slowly. So, so that I didn't get any lumps. It looks good. It smells good. Honestly, it smells delicious. Oh, look at that. So I'm just going to turn the heat down to low and let that kind of rest while I finish up with the carrots and get everything else plated. This will be the last thing I plate up. All right, it's going to drain the carrots now and add some butter. Okay, for our baked potato, the directions say to make two diagonal slices, which you can see I've already made. I just set my butter knife aside, and then we are just going to squeeze it. Okay. Add our nice big pad of butter to the top, and sprinkle with paprika. It looks good. Let's add our carrots. To the carrots, I just added a pat of butter. And next we need a little nest of rice for our curry. And here's our finished curry. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay, so I'm just gonna put a scoop of that on here. This is for me. And then of course we have our custard for dessert. How delicious does that look? Let's try it. This is a weeknight. I am not fancy at all tonight. I need a knife. I think a butter knife will do. This should be fairly easy to cut. Our carrots are cooked to perfection. Mm. They're just buttery carrots. Let's try the potato with the paprika on it. I love paprika. So here we go. Mmm. Oh, that is delightful. They are cooked perfectly. Honestly, I recommend doing your potatoes like that all the time. I hardly ever do. Let's try the curry because that's really the start of the dish. I'm going to try some with all of it. A little bit of curry meat, or sorry, a little bit of lamb, some celery, some rice. Mmm. That apple, I got some apple too. It's perfect. Let's try another bite. I want to try another bite. I, I liked it so much. <laughs> A big bite of meat this time. If you think you don't like curry, maybe you just haven't had this curry. I put extra curry because I like curry, but it is not a strong curry flavor. It's a really nice subtle flavor. And those apples just brighten this whole dish up. And celery is delicious all the time. I suggest you give this a try um, if you're looking for a nice supper to have at home and you've got a little bit of time because it was a bit time and consuming, 
but absolutely delicious. And let's be honest, the hardest part probably was just prepping everything. If you're just making the curry, it's going to be really easy. I think it's a great idea to have the full meal. It's really balanced. I know I tend to just go for a curry sometimes, but make the whole thing. Treat yourself. The custard, here we go. It's beautiful looking. Perfectly custardy. Let's have a bite. It's pumpkin custard. It's like a pumpkin pie. It's a no-brainer. If you like pumpkin pie, you're going to like this. It is essentially a pumpkin pie. A little whipped cream on top? Mmm, that would be even better. Alright, well thank you for watching. I'm going to go eat. <laughs>